In this topic today, we will be discussing about the origin of life, and in that we will be discussing the idea of RNA vault. What is pre-cellular life, right? So as we have discussed that from the origin of the Earth, uh, when the Earth was formed, till the first cell of life was originated, there is some time where it is a long time when there wa there is no cellular evidence. So what would have happened during that time that resulted into creation of cell and that is called pre-cellular life so the transition from the non-living to living it is not a one-step process it does not complete in one single step there might be some you know before the pre-cellular life there were some very very proto cells very simple cells that resulted into gradually making a complex cell so what then could have been the transitional form or pre-cellular life that is the question of today and what is the idea that is widely accepted that is the view of RNA world RNA what is RNA RNA is ribonucleic acid and it is one of the nucleic acids and it has a key role in the protein synthesis the RNA ribonucleic acid is present in our own cells as well it has many types and there are different forms. There is some form which is making the ribosomes. There is some form which is, you know, co having the genetic code which codes for the proteins. And it has some other forms which are transferring the amino acids from the new uh, from uh, one particular site to the ribosomes where they can be arranged in the form of a protein. So RNA has very diverse forms, and the RNA is very very important molecule that it has many other properties which we will be discussing later. So in 1968, the Francis Crick suggested that RNA was the first genetic molecule. You might be familiar with the name of uh, Francis Crick already. He is the same scientist who shared his Nobel Prize for the DNA model with the Watson, James Watson. So RNA has unique property of acting both as a gene as, as well as, a, as an enzyme. So how uh, come it acts as a gene? You might have already known that, that some of the viruses are having the RNA as their genetic molecule. So it is acting as a gene. And enzyme, we will be discussing that there were some RNA discovered by the scientists which were acting as a uh, enzyme. They were cutting the other RNAs. So those are also called uh, enzymes, right? So enzyme, the, the molecule that cuts another molecule that is in biological terms is called enzyme. So RNA could act as a precursor of life and that was the proposition of Francis Crick and this was a very way forward and it was a very revolutionary idea and it paved way to some experiment that the future scientists did and somehow the Francis Crick was on the right track. Uh, Walter Gilbert first used the term RNA world in 1986, although it was a very controversial term at that time, but today uh, scientists agree on this. The first evidence was that the Sildi, Sidney Altman and uh, Thomas Keck. So, the an RNA that could edit out an unnecessary parts of the message carried before delivering it to the ribosome. So there was an RNA, they discovered an RNA that was carrying the messenger RNA to the ribosome. But before taking that messenger RNA to the ribosome, it cut some of the parts. It was editing that messenger RNA. And Keck called this discovery as a ribozyme. So the uh, Sydney and Keck, they found this enzyme and they called it a ribozyme. So now you know that why we call the RNA as an enzyme as well. So what, uh, now the other scientists were still chasing uh, the evidence and since 1990 there is much more evidence uh, which has been deposited in this regard. The Jazz, Jack Sazostek and colleagues argued, he was a Russian scientist, that the first RNA molecule on the prebiotic, pre means before, Biotic means life. So prebiotic means before life, Earth were assembled from the nucleotide dissolved in the rock pools. So say there was a rock pool and they had some nucleotides over there. 
and these nucleotides arrange themselves into a polynucleotide and from there the polyribonucleotides were formed which are the RNA molecules and the uh, then comes the RNA replicase right so if there is a lot of RNA and we know that RNA has ability to cut RNA as well so there was some origin of an RNA which was able to cut the other RNAs in that pool of uh, RNA now if we combine both the template RNA and the enzyme RNA together we call that as RNA replicase so it was able to replicate itself make the enzymes and make the make up the genetic molecule which can make the new RNAs as well so in this way this continued and uh, so stuck and colleagues proposed a second precellular structure which is called a self replicating vesicle so they said that there was some RNAs and RNAs made some sort of lipid membrane around them and that was a self replicating that means they were able to completely uh, morph into two two to four and four to eight and based on the conditions they have and this resulted into a protocell the idea of protocell say there was some uh, the precellular uh, vesicle that contains the RNAs and there was the replicates RNA replicates was there so RNA replicates somehow enters into that uh, vesicle and it makes the protocell so RNA replicates enter a self replicating vesicle and the RNA replicates uh, replicates can function more efficiently in that replicate uh, in the self replicating vesicle and that was a very early form of a protocell and this was the idea and that you can see in the last slide which is a diagram so here you can see the model behind the RNA world where an RNA replicates and self replicating membrane bound vesicle combined to form a protocell the self replicating vesicle it gets in the replicates the protocell is replicating and when it is replicating it is having the linking function for example it is having the ribozyme of today right so and this resulted into evolution of a complete cell from the protocell